Yeah, so you're standing inside of one of our containers. And as you can see behind me, it looks a little bit different than usual. We, and inside of these containers and inside of our growth systems everywhere, we go through trying to make sure they always have exactly what they need all the time. Right? And one of those major factors are the pink lights. In school, you learn that plants need sunlight, water, and nutrients to grow. But really, what plants need more specifically is a particular wavelength light that gives them the energy packets they need to activate photosynthesis. And that wavelength is actually 620 nanometers, and that turns out to be this pinkish purple light. So one of the big things we look at is how we can consistently be more sustainable, more energy efficient. And so here, instead of giving kind of this broad light, we're trying to be as precise as possible. So we want to give them only exactly what they need. Indoor farming has been exciting for a while, but it was always very difficult to actually do. Partially because lights weren't quite there yet. So they were less energy efficient, and they also dissipated more heat when they ran. And so because of that, you then had to have more air conditioning and a whole bunch of other factors to try and make sure you could give plants exactly what they wanted. Now, as lights have continued getting better, not only are they more energy efficient, they also have less heat waste, and so we can run these systems kind of much more precisely. Do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Scentsy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SciAroundSensi.